So it is Tuesday, October 12th at the time of filming this video. And just in the last 24 hours, we've had a number of new Nintendo Switch related stories break that I wanna share with you guys. The first of which is an update around Alan Wake Remastered and why it is back in the news for a potential version of this game coming to Nintendo Switch. Then we also have to cover the unfortunate news around Monster Hunter Rise and the lack of cross play and cross save ability when this game will launch on PC. Then I also wanna quickly update you guys on a new Mario Party Superstars trailer that dropped from Nintendo themselves today and the big talking point for today's video is we now have another report that suggests that the Nintendo Switch OLED dock is indeed capable of 4k 60 FPS output and I want to talk through what that means for the future of the Switch platform as a whole. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunbro Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned guys, we're covering a few different stories today. The first of which we are kicking it off with is none other than an update around Alan Wake Remastered. And the reason that this is back in the news is because we now have a second rating board suggesting that this game will be coming to the Nintendo Switch because the ESRB, which is the US ratings board, here where I live actually has listed this game as reviewed by them for the Nintendo Switch version. We had previously seen it pop up in a Brazil related rating board process. So, I mean, it's kind of surprising to me that these companies who actually won't officially comment on whether or not these games are going to come to other platforms or even if the game exists or not, like we talked about Castlevania Advance Collection well before that was officially announced because of these rating boards. And to me, it's just very surprising that companies will go out there and pay for these boards to actually review and rate their games as part of the development process before actually announcing them because obviously Alan Wake Remake has been officially announced, but we have not seen the announcement for the Switch. And here it is getting reviewed by two different ratings boards that suggest that it will indeed be coming to the Switch. Now, we also have to quickly talk about whether or not this will be a native port or if it will be the dreaded cloud port. And I know there's fans of cloud support out there, but I will tell you guys right now, the cloud version of games is not quite there yet yet unless if you have incredible internet at all times with very low latency it is just not there especially for a console like nintendo switch where you can technically take the games on the go like good luck being out and about playing it and finding good enough wi-fi to stream a cloud version of a game and there's just still too many places in the u.s that don't have fast enough internet to really run these effectively so if this is a cloud port for me it'll definitely be one that i'll end up skipping over unfortunately however in the off chance that we do see a native port of Alan wake remake come to the switch i will be happy to play through it as i did not previously experience this game on the xbox 360 and it definitely created a cult following as all these fans are extremely excited to see this remake coming out maybe you call it remaster i can't remember if they titled it remaster or remake but I believe that remaster may actually be the correct term for this. And I've just been saying remake this whole time, but I'm going to leave it in there anyway. So with that, you know, I'll be excited to see, you know, what this game ultimately has to offer on the switch. I am hesitantly optimistic that we are going to get a native port, but we could very easily just see the cloud route go. And really from you guys, I want to hear if you have any interest in Alan Wake at all when the remastered version comes out, or if you think that this will be a cloud or native port. So please share your thoughts and opinions on Alan Wake remastered in the comments down below and whether or not you think we're getting this game native or the dreaded cloud version coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, from there, I want to cover some not so great news around Monster Hunter Rise. As you know, this game has created a very large fan base, and we've known for quite a while that this game will eventually be coming to the PC. But we now have a big update because Capcom has come out and officially stated that this game will come out on PC, but of course, it will not support any kind of cross play or cross save functionality. And you know, that is a big blow to the community of this game, just for the simple fact that if you do have a decent gaming rig PC, if this thing had cross transfer when it comes to the save file, you would be able to play the game in a beautiful up res, you know, maybe even 4K native resolution. If your PC can run that, you know, turn on all the lighting effects and extra stuff to kick up the game's graphical performance. And then if you want to take it on the go on a Nintendo Switch, when you're out and about traveling, you could essentially have the same gameplay experience tied between those two platforms. And that would be a really cool thing to see that we really haven't seen up to this point. So 
I definitely understand why some fans are disappointed around this announcement. And then also, you know, the cross play effect would have been really cool to actually have PC players effectively playing online together with Nintendo Switch players. And it does sound like from a development standpoint, this is actually a very hard thing to pull off, but we do know it's possible. So apparently Capcom ran some numbers. They didn't see the value in actually putting in the extra work to implement these features, but it is something that I hope that we see going forward, especially with a console like the Switch, where if you get a PC version of a different game, or maybe being super hopeful, one day we can pl play across different consoles, whether or not we're at home, like something like a PS5 save will ultimately transfer to a server somewhere that you could then go pick up and play on the Switch. That might be wishful thinking, but the PC is definitely the most open platform out there in terms of leniency with, you know, talking to consoles and things like that. We're even seeing Sony first party titles make their way over to PC one by one in different types of ports. So I do think that this will be an exciting thing to continue to watch unfold, but for Monster Hunter Rise fans right now, and then obviously we have the big expansion pack to look forward to in the summer of 2022. This will be coming to PC as well, but it will not be something that supports the cross play and cross save functionality. So I would love to hear from you guys as Monster Hunter Rise fans specifically, if this was a feature that you know you were actually anticipating and you were planning on picking it up on PC and continuing the file on your Switch kind of back and forth, or if this is something that really just doesn't affect you. Because for me, as I do want to experience Monster Hunter Rise, I still have not given it a chance, even though I own the game. So I will be doing it in the future. But right now, all of my free hours are going to Metroid Dread. So until I get past that, I'm probably not going to be playing any kind of other titles on the Switch, period. But, you know, once I do complete that, which I think I'm maybe less than a little less than halfway through the game, I will be happy to experience Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch as I want to at least finish the initial campaign the first time through before the DLC comes out in the summer of 2022. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are around this Monster Hunter Rise update. And are you disappointed that we will not be seeing cross play or cross save functionality implemented? Now, the next update I want to share with you guys today is actually around Mario Party Superstars, as we are getting surprisingly close to this game's launch, as it is out on October 28th, and we're already fastly approaching the middle part of October, so we don't have too much longer to go before the release of this. We did talk about it previously on the channel because there was actually a Japanese commercial that went live that's actually very similar to this. I'm not sure if it's exactly one-to-one -one or if they show any new stuff in the English version, but I was able to actually pick up some of the features that they talked about in this, which I think sound incredible, one of which is the fact that you could all be playing aboard with your friends, I believe either locally or online, you can then save that game status. Let's say somebody has to leave, something unexpected happens, and then you could actually come back to the board game totally separately, even if you close out of the game later on and load up from where you left off before. And I think that that's a really nice feature to have, especially just for, you know, something that's small quality of life improvement. The other big quality of life improvement is the fact that this game is going to launch with online play out of the gate, because if you guys remember Super Mario Party, it had very limited online play for a very long time and you couldn't really experience many of the mini games at all and then three years later after that game's out there nintendo just randomly decides to update it one day with a Mar super mario party online update trailer which you know is like oh he's surprised now you can go play all the mini games online so that one for me i had like super high hype levels for and then i was relatively let down with the game overall to be honest just around the forced joy con play as you know one joy con turn sideways for me is very uncomfortable to hold is I, I have a little bit bigger hands. They're not like abnormally big, but still that Joy-Con's tiny. So I'm excited to actually be able to play a Mario Party game again with more traditional button style controls. And there is even a link that I will have in the description down below for you guys that shows all of the hundred plus mini games that will be coming to this and the majority of them are from the N64 and GameCube era, which is absolutely my favorite era for Mario Party. So I am super nostalgic for some of these mini games, some of these boards, and I cannot wait to replay those on a Nintendo Switch in HD, even being able to play online with friends. I mean, I'm definitely getting more hype for this game's release as we get closer to it. So this is definitely a day one pickup for me. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you are planning on picking up Mario Party Superstars when it launches on October 29th. Now, the last story we're going to talk about today is a divisive one, because anytime you say the words 4K and Nintendo Switch together, you get two clashing sides of the Internet that come out of the woodworks that, you know, half of the fans out there are so done hearing about any kind of Switch Pro or 4K resolution on the Switch. They're like, give Nintendo the time. It's not coming for the foreseeable future, probably not until the next gen Switch. Then you have some people like me that I have fun speculating around the fact that we may see Nintendo pull a surprise move and implement something like 4K, most likely. And 
and I have zero hope for it really coming to the OLED model, but I could see Nintendo surprising us with a quicker revision to the Switch before they actually go into the true next gen version of the console. And that's where, you know, a lot of fans have been burnt out with all of these Switch Pro rumors over the course of time. And my personal speculation is that the Switch OLED may have been a pro model if we were not actually in this chip shortage situation. But regardless, I want to start off the story by quickly hopping over to VGC to read through the article because there has been a new teardown of the dock from someone who has reported on new details about the chip that is inside that and what it is capable of. So let's quickly read through the article, then talk about what this could mean for the future of the Switch platform as a whole. More evidence suggests Switch OLED's dock can support 4K. Switch could even theoretically be updated to output a higher resolution, it's claimed. Further evidence has suggested that the Nintendo Switch OLED model's dock can support 4K 60fps, even though the Switch hardware currently doesn't. Last week, it was reported that the Nintendo Switch hardware comes with a new HDMI 2.0 cable compared to the original 1.4 lead, which means it could theoretically transfer a 4K signal at 60 frames per second with HDR applied. Now content creator Calundrum has gone a step further and opened up the Switch OLED dock to discover that it seemingly has a new Realtek chip inside, one which advertises itself as a 4K UHD multimedia SoC. This was said to be the same chip that was referenced in a Switch firmware update earlier this year along with the hardware codenamed Ala. The discovery would suggest that the Nintendo Switch OLED dock definitely has new hardware inside to support HDMI 2.0 and upward. It should also be noted that the Tegra X1 featured in the Switch does in fact support 4K 60 FPS output over HDMI 2.0, Colin notes. Curiously, Nintendo has also recently added an update dock firmware function specifically for the OLED dock. This could potentially indicate that Nintendo could decide to add a 4K option in the future, similarly to how it recently added Bluetooth audio support via an update. However, there's reportedly nothing in the Switch's firmware currently to suggest that 4K or HDR is coming, and it's almost certain that such functionality would be impossible for native game support given the aging hardware. The dock itself doesn't have the ability to upscale 1080p to 4K either, and so the 4K output would need to be handled by the Switch itself, either would increase power or DLSS style upscaling feature, neither of which the OLED has. Now past the article, there's a couple tweets that are referenced, which shows clearly the chip from the inside of the dock. And then also the user actually testing the fact that the HDMI 2.0 cable is indeed 2.0 in the sense that you can hook it into an Xbox Series X or S and actually see that you have that ability for a 4K 60 output. So this is definitely something that is an interesting talking point. It's like, is this something that Nintendo is just future proofing the dock and we're gonna have to wait multiple years to hear anything about 4K coming to the switch or is this something where they surprise throw a curveball and give us like a 4k announcement upgrade one day you know just like they waited years and years to add bluetooth support and then surprise there's a firmware upgrade that gives us bluetooth support like nintendo likes to do wild and crazy things and they are very fun to report upon because they're the probably the hardest company to predict what they're actually planning but in my personal speculation around this is this is definitely laying the groundwork for whatever they're working on next we know nintendo does not want to lose any of their momentum that they've created Created with the Switch's life cycle so far as they are fastly approaching 100 million units sold and I think they want to continue to capitalize on that momentum and roll it forward into whatever the next plan is and whether or not that means extending the Switch's life cycle a little bit further with a pro level revision or at least a 4k 60 type of revision with a beefed up internal chip that all remains to be seen or we could be looking at Nintendo's initial planning of the next gen switch and maybe it's closer than we think like an early 2023 launch in which case they may want to have this dock ready to be enabled by whatever that switch would be there's also like a just a side thing that i don't know if you guys noticed but it was kind of interesting to me the fact that this dock is actually a little bit looser as far as the fitting than the other switch like whenever i put my switch inside of my oled dock it actually wiggles back and forth more definitely more than it did in the old one whether or not that means maybe we'll get a fatter switch and nintendo knows that or a slightly thicker one you know that all remains to be seen too, but it's just something that popped out to me. And it's, you know, I figured I'd mention it because it is fun to speculate around, around these things, as I mentioned. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's really hard to predict what Nintendo is going to plan around this. I definitely think 4K is coming. I do tend to believe as much as a lot of people don't like to hear the word Bloomberg. I think that Takahashi Mochizuki on all of his reporting around Nintendo planning 4K and Nintendo clearly being upset with that is, you know, referencing the fact that it's most likely real. And, you know, just saying the claims that 11 plus developers have some kind of 4K capable switch dev kit definitely 
definitely points to Nintendo's larger planning here. Then we're also getting these dock teardowns. I don't think that it's something that we're going to hear Nintendo comment on until they're ready to come out and tell us just like they do all the time they could literally at be asked a day before if they have plans for something and they will deny it and then the next day they will go public and actually say indeed this new 3ds is coming out or this you know indeed we are hop stopping the production of the wii u like we have seen them deny and then pivot and turn around and do the exact opposite so frequently over the course of history that you know whenever nintendo says they have no plans for something that does not simply mean that they are not working on it it's just they are not ready to announce it to the public yet so at this point in the video guys i really want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on everything we talked about today are you interested in, in alan wake remastered at all you know is it a game that you will consider picking up do you think it's going to be a native or a cloud port that eventually makes its way to the switch what's your opinions on this monster hunter rise lack of cross play and cross save support are you picking up mario party superstars at release or is it one that you'll wait to see how it gets reviewed and maybe pick it up on a sale down the line and then the big thing i want to hear from you guys on is what do you think all this 4k talk is around the nintendo switch oled dock supporting it obviously we have that firmware to talk about with the software update for the dock as well what do you think all this means I, i'm totally open to both sides of the coin like i would love to hear the people who think that nintendo's not working on 4k anytime soon and the people who thinks that this could indeed suggest that we're a little bit closer than what we think from getting a switch in 4k resolution output sometime potentially as soon as next year or maybe even into early 2023 or do you think that this is just the initial groundwork for a true up next gen switch so i do look forward to hearing from all you guys and your thoughts and opinions and everything we talked about as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join some donation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below, hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Some donation out.